couple months ago, I uploaded a video called how to make a lo-fi beat on GarageBand and that video has skyrocketed to a point that I never even imagined and I can't thank you guys enough for that. But something that I fucked up in that video is the part where I talk about sampling. So basically just go on YouTube and write jazz piano samples and then there you go. I basically just said to search up on YouTube a random ass song and just download it, but I never explained to you how to actually sample and how to do it correctly. So without further ado, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to properly sample on your phone using GarageBand. Now, first off, I'm going to explain to you guys how to actually put the samples onto your phone so that you can use them, which I should have done three fucking months ago. The first thing you need to do is find a sample. To not waste any time, I'm just going to use the last sample that I used in the lo-fi video, which is Shiloh's Imagination. The next thing you want to do is just download the sample then plug this thing into this thing using this thing then just open up itunes put the sample into your music library and then you now have it on your phone which you can now import into GarageBand. but now that you've put it on GarageBand, it sounds like this See, with a lot of samples, just like this one, for example, even if you have the exact tempo of the song, it still might be out of place because of whatever fucking reason. So, I guess my dream of being a lo-fi producer is over. I mean, I would have made like 10 cents out of my whole career as a lo-fi producer, but my dreams are over because it's not in tune and shut the fuck up. Why do you sound like that? There is a simple and kind of easy way to fix this problem, and that is called Chop it up. All you have to do is chop it up in a couple of places so that it's on beat. You need to pay a little more closer attention to make sure that the sample that you chose and also the drum pattern are hitting that same bar at the same time. So for example, the Shiloh vocals that we use for this video should sound something like this should be hitting this bar. Girl come through and let's do what we do in your imagination when I'm gone. Show me. I'm the best singer in the world, you can suck my dick. But at the same time, you don't just have to put everything in place. You can get creative with it and just move around a couple of notes that the person is singing, that the sample that you chose, or the chords of the piano of the sample that you chose. It's really just all creativity and imagination. That's the name of the sample that I chose. So instead of it just being a normal sample and just sounding like this, You can chop it up even more and make it sound way crazier like this. So that's all I'm gonna say about sampling for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below something else that I could talk to you guys about just to help you guys out because I know a lot of you guys use GarageBand and want to get better at it. So I am here to cater to your needs. Also shout out to these two people. I shout out two people who like and comment in the last video. So like and comment for that. Share this video with your friends, subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.